So, if you don't know, which many of you do know, um, Hunter, also known as Retro Red, um, also known as Venom, uh, that was his, that was his, uh, PlayStation name, was Venom, uh, died, um, a year ago. Um, and it really hurts because Hunter was my best friend. We made plenty of YouTube videos together. Um, and outside you know, of playing game, video games, he was just, we did, did everything together. We played video games together. We went, we went, um, um, right for metal detecting together. Um, we did, you know, we did all, like, we wouldn't just sit on the phone and just talk. That's, you know, for hours and hours and hours. That's, we, we had a very, 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 very good connection. And, man, we would just sit talk like we we spent hours just doing nothing like we would play video games and we, you know we weren't even recording or uh recording videos or streaming uh the last stream or anything we were just bullshitting and yeah we would, yeah, we would spend like we would spend from like 12 p.m to about five and then we would and then uh if we if we was free we would get on about like he would get on about six and we would we would just uh we would just be uh, be uh, be on the game until 10 at night that that it was just a lot of hours just can you shut up Please, um, anyway, uh, we just, we just spent hours, you know, playing video games, recording videos, slash streaming, everything. And one of his favorite, the reason why I'm in Grand Theft Auto, is the reason why they're, uh, the, um, but yeah, the reason why is one of his favorite and first games was Grand Theft Auto. I, uh, so I have a PS5 now, but when I had my PS4, I mean, I still have my PS4, but, you know, whatever, that's besides the fact. When, so, when I, uh, like, first got my PS4, I got GTA, and he would... I would be playing director mode, just blowing shit up and killing people in the game. And basically, uh, he wanted to play. And I was, um, anyway, I was out at my uh, grandma's house. You know, I brought my uh, PlayStation out to my grandma's house. And I went into the kitchen to get a snack or, or a drink or whatever. And I come back and he just face glued to the TV, just wrecking people, and, yeah, I mean, that love of GTA was kind of carried throughout his, you know, the rest of his life, um, he, yeah, he, uh, created, created a online character, and we would, uh, we would play GTA online, GTA, GTA online. Good grief! But besides playing online, he never touched the story. He he would just play either play online or direct mode, and and we're in Fallout and Fortnite and COD. You know all sorts of games. He likes the Mortal Kombat game. Um, he you know um. What else did he like? Um, he liked the Uncharted. He liked Res Resident Evil games. Um, 
And yeah, so um, just go on my YouTube channel, go on the Retro Red Universe, so saying yeah, me and um, the Retro Red Universe, and listen to what he has to say. You know, listen to his voice. You know, he's a funny guy. And so, yeah, um, if you don't know the reason why he died is um, because he, um, well, it's hard to talk about it because it's still kind of fresh. I mean, it's it's been a year this week, 26, um, but, um, so he died, uh, so he, um, was getting a heart transplant because he had, he had a, um, very rare, um, I think, heart defect. Um, and basically, I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to drag this video out longer than, than I have to. Um, he ended up having uh, half his heart. Like, his heart was a whole, but only one side, one half worked. And so, and his health was declining. Um, and so he got put on a transplant list, and well, he got trans. He finally got a donor. So, um, basically, he was in and out of surgery because I kept on having complications because of how his chest cavity and heart was were structured. Uh, because you know, after so many years of you know, so uh, of his heart being the way it is, you know, for more focusing on one side than, you know, than the non-working side, you know, there was, you know, there was some tissue around that side, or I don't, I can't remember how it, go, uh, how it went, um, so basically, you know, because of complications, he was in and out of surgery, and that takes a toll on the body, because you have to, uh, cool it down to get the heart to, you know, slow down and then warm it up warm the body up again and it's just you know in out of surgery and well he had uh so first it was mini strokes in the brain just little ones and the doctor told us well you know we were there for a whole thing uh the doctor told us well that you know it could be fine he could be fine he could you know not know how to walk and talk, you know, whatever. And then the day after we left, so we left oh, that Monday and that Tuesday, um, we got a phone call that he had a massive stroke. And basically, if he was, basically that stroke made it so he was, it, it sounds gruesome and graphic and rude to say it, but man, he, hot. I wish I could get him because of that stroke, he was brain dead. It's hard for me to say that because I, I don't know if there's there's a different, a nicer word, maybe. They'll withdraw, but no one told him. I don't know. I, I'm doing the best I can. Um, so they decided to take him off less part because that's no way to live on machines. I mean, you can't, you know, that's basically a shell of a person at that point. He's not going to, you know, he's not going to be him. He's not going to be himself. So they decide the humane thing. And it's, it's very, very hard for the family to do. I mean, it's, it's very hard as a cousin for me to, like, Except the fact, like, he's gone. And, like I said, he was my best friend, but he was also my cousin. So, I, you know, we're related. Um, so, yeah, um, so, at the end of the day, he went home the next day in, in a urn. So, yeah, um.
Okay. Long story short, um, this is the 21st I'm recording this, but I'm going to uh, schedule it or make it premiere on the 26th when he actually died um, of September. Yeah, it will be a year on the 26th, and yeah, um, buddy, I just want to say that I love you, and I wish so much that you are back. My life is never going to be the same without you, buddy. Love you so, so much. And tell your mom I said hi. Okay, all right. I managed to collect myself a little bit here. So I made a tribute to him. And in GTA, um, yeah, I spent an hour of my life, which I'm grateful because I got to think about the situation. And I made a tribute to him. Half a memorial to him. I wrote his name. I wrote his name and you know, out in the middle of the ocean so everyone in the game and everyone in real life when they're seeing this can see the impact that he had on my life. I built this memorial out of racetracks that you could find in the prop section of uh, Director Mode. And yeah, um, um, he, he was a very big race car or NASCAR fan. His two favorite uh, racers, uh, drivers, were um, Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Dale Earnhardt Jr. So I built this out of, I could have built it out of anything, but I chose to build it, I chose to build it out of racetrack pieces. I was gonna I was gonna um, make a compilation of videos that we did together but I, I thought that that wasn't from the heart honestly. I wanted to make this from the heart that, you know, I poured my heart and soul out, you know, into making this. Okay, so, I'm gonna land. Now to kind of memorialize. I won't have a firework launcher, but this is the best it's gonna do. Now the next part is just gonna be 
silence. Alright, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, um, H, U, P B R That's Balls Hunter And his name will be forever engraved in everyone's hearts. Thank you 
for watching this one year death anniversary video. I'll see you next time.